Okay, let's take a look at SSS triangle congruence examples. Example A asks us to write a triangle congruence statement based on the picture. And the picture tells us that side AB, oops, let's use a pen that works, how about that? You know, I'm just one of those picky people that wants things like that. Side AB is congruent with side LM. So we can say that AB is congruent with LM and the picture also tells us that AC is congruent with LK so we can say that AC congruent LK and then finally it tells us that BC is congruent with MK BC congruent MK. So our congruency statement then needs to point out that the triangles are congruent and be, be uh, described in the same order. So if we want to describe our first triangle as say ACB going around in this direction here, ACB, then we can say that triangle ACB is congruent with, and that means we need to use the same three sides the same comparable three sides in the other triangle. So we need to first mention the side that uses the two hash mark. So we're going to start with K and go to L. Oh, nope, we're not, because we need to go from the two to the three. So we're going to start with L and go to K, go the other way around, from L to K. And then we're going to go across the three hash sides, so from K to M, and then finally from M to L. So this one, since we're starting with L, needs to be L, K, M. So we say that triangle ABC is congruent with triangle L, K, M. All right, let's take a look at example B. Example B asks us to write a two-column proof. So in a two-column proof, given that line AB right here is congruent with DE, and that C is the midpoint of AB, I'm sorry, AE and DB. Now the interesting thing about that is that if C is the midpoint of AE, that's going to tell us that A is congruent with E, AC is going to be congruent with CE, and it's going to tell us that BC is congruent with CD, because if that's the midpoint, then it divides each of those lines into equal parts. So now we can take a look at our proof. Our first statement is just going to be the given, AB is congruent to DE, and that C is the midpoint, so that's the information we just read. Our second statement is what we again just pointed out, and that is that based on the definition of a midpoint, AC and CE are the same, and BC and CD are the same. Because of that, we now know that we have one side, two sides, and three sides that are the same, so based on the side angle side postulate, we can state that ACB is congruent to ECD. All right, let's take a look at the last example. Example C asks us to find the lengths of all the line segments from both triangles to see if the two triangles are congruent. So here's our two triangles. We have ABC and DEF and we need to see if they're congruent. In order to find the lengths of the sides, we're going to have to use our distance formula. So I'm going to start with line AB here. We're not going to have time to do them all, but I'll do a couple of them with you. We'll start with line AB. So AB has an X coordinate of negative 2 and negative 6, and then Y coordinates of 10 and 5. So if we start with this point, and we use our distance formula, we're going to take the square root of the difference in our x terms, so starting with the upper point, our first x term is negative 2, and then our lower point is negative 6, so we're going to do negative 2 minus negative 6, so the difference between the x's, squared, and we add that to the difference between the y's, or 10 minus 5, squared. That gives us negative 2 minus negative 6 is positive 4, squared would be 16, and then 10 minus 5 is 5, squared would be 25, 
So now we have the square root of 16 plus 25, or the square root of 41. So side AB over here is going to be 41 units, square root of 41 units. So now we need to compare that to side ED and see if it matches. So for ED, we're going to have the square root of, let's do that one in orange, give us a little bit of delineation there. Side ED is going to be the square root of x coordinates 5 and 1, so 5 minus 1 squared, added to the y coordinates, which are 2 and negative 3, so we have 2 minus negative 3 squared. 5 minus 1 squared would be 4 squared, or 16. And we're going to add that to 2 minus negative 3, which is 5, squared is 25, look familiar. 16 and 25 is 41, so we're looking for the square root of 41. So now we know that side DE is also 41 units. So now you can use the same process to go along and see if you can verify that BC is the same length as EF and that AC is the same length as DF. And assuming that's the case, you will show that the two triangles are indeed congruent.